of another Doctor Who video. I did a short animation featuring the Seventh Doctor and Ace. Now, unfortunately, because I use a bit of the Seventh Doctor theme tune as the intro, uh, the BBC blocked it before it had a chance to properly upload. So I've changed today's video for my Doctor Who DVD collection part one. So how this is going to work is, so how this is going to work is basically, I've got all my DVDs here and I'm going to take one at a time and give my individual thoughts on it. Let's start off with it with the very first story and an earthly child. So what do I think of this story? Well, I think the pilot episode was very good, the one that never got broadcast. The rest of them I'm not overall that keen on, but it's not a bad introduction to Doctor Who. I would have rather it be something a bit more spectacular than the whole series, but I appreciate it as a story. The Daleks... Oh, it's a bit boring, isn't it? Edge of Destruction. Um, how do I describe it? <sighs> Brilliant. I think it's weird, but it's really good. It's sort of weird yet wonderful, if that makes sense. Dalek Invasion of Earth. Loads of people like this one. I don't know why. I think it's a bit... Uh, the pacing's a bit off. I get where it's coming from with it, but I think Doctor Who's... Like a lot of William Hartner ones... And I think Doctor Who does it much better in the future rather than... I mean, in the future, I think they cover this much better than they've covered that in this story, if that makes sense. Time Meddler. Um, it's rubbish, sorry. All Machine, don't mind it. It's a nice little story. And yeah, I'm glad Dodo leaves in it, to be honest. Tenth Planet, really good. I like this one. Shame it's animated at the end of the last episode, but it's good animation. Lost in Time features loads of missing Doctor Who stories, and I really recommend you get it. Brilliant ones like Eve of the Dark Bomb or Snowman, um, and also Dark's Master Plan. Really good. Adventure in Space and Tumbles done the yeah, alternative group or an alternative cover. Brilliant. I really like it. It's a really nice documentary about William Hartnell's era. Power of the Daleks, the missing legend, as I like to call it. Yeah, it's brilliant. Brilliant introduction to Patrick Trouton. And basically, brilliant introduction to what is one of the best eras of Doctor Who. And Water Man, it's good. I don't care. In, although it's got... Although it's got really bad put-together pictures and telly snaps and everything, watch it without that and then try and make it make sense without them. That's how I watch it. Moonbase, boring. Oh, I get it out. That's it, there we are. Tomb of the Cybermen, brilliant story, absolutely love it. Legendary, I think. Well, just slightly off legendary. Enemy of the World. Love Enemy of the World, it's my favourite Doctor story of all time. Oh, I just love the front cover, I don't know why they did a special edition, because that is just a perfect front cover. Rebel Fear, yeah, pretty good. Ice Warriors. That bad, the Ice Warriors. It's it could have been better, I suppose. Actually, no, I'm. I really like it. I really do like it. But I think in places it can get. Just because the animation really puts me off, I think the animation is appalling, actually. But as as far as the story goes, I think Brian Hales is really good. The writing, the invasion. Uh, it's good, but it gets a bit slow. Seeds of death. Oh, absolutely legendary, brilliant story. War Games, really good, but it can get slow at times. Like the Time Lord episode at the end, though. Spearhead from Space, pretty good introduction to John Pertwee. Really do like it. Doctor in the Silurians, or as it's written on the DVD, and the Silurians. Um, brilliant, love it. I don't think it drags for me, I know... But this one does a bit, Ambassador's Death. I think, oh, it's a bit odd, but I like it. It's sort of odd, but lovely. And Inferno. Oh, probably one of the best Doctor Two stories of all time. Absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, that concludes my first shelf. So, yeah, Terror of the Autons. Um, yeah, it's really good, really good introduction to the Master. Mind of Evil. Oh, it's a bit... <sighs> Not sure about my dream. Cause of Axos, yeah, it's pretty good. Demons, uh, yeah, I'm. 
I nearly like it. That's all I can describe it. Day of the Daleks, absolutely brilliant. This is so underrated, absolutely love it. First time I watched it, wasn't too keen. Now I love it, brilliant. Cursive pedal, boring. Sea Devils, nearly good as the Silo Ruins, but not quite as good, but still excellent. Time Monster, underrated gem, really like it. I wish people liked it more, but eh, I really do like that one. Three Doctors, standard edition. Three Doctors, special edition. Both of which I'm not very keen on. Dalek War Box Set, Frontier in Space and Planet of the Daleks. Frontier in Space, brilliant. Planet of the Daleks, brilliant. Brilliant box set. Green Death, best companion exit of all time. It is stunning. Time Warrior, oh, Iron Grom, you're amazing. And Lynx, really good. Sarah Jane, really good. Raven the Dinosaurs, couldn't finish it, but book recently just because of other things but honestly really do love this story death of the daleks rubbish <laughs> monster of peladon uh, it's better than curse of peladon but that's not saying much for it and planet of the spiders um a bit weird robot introduction to my favorite doctor and do i like it yes i do Ark in space drags a bit for me Genesis the Daleks. Oh, I love Genesis the Daleks. Yeah. Can we get it out? It's a bit tight, this shelf. Um, Tales of Zygons. Brilliant story. And if I can get it out, Pyramids of Mars. Absolutely stunning. Love this story so much. It is amazing.